Hello everyone. Welcome to TNPSC 360 degree. Today we are going to see a short discussion on satellite technology in India. So the satellite technology in India was steered in 1970s. So, so, so to start with, we will see the importance of communication satellites. The main communication satellites in India was INSAT, Indian National Satellite. Okay. So it is the largest domestic communication satellite placed in the geostationary orbit. So recently GSAT-17 was launched with the INSAT system. Okay. GSAT-17 was launched with the INSAT system. It is a communication satellite, largest domestic communication satellite placed in geostationary orbit. So there are frequently you will hear terms like geostationary geosynchronous, sun synchronous and low earth orbit. So in this video we will see the differences and importance of the all these orbits. So INSAT, what is INSAT? So INSAT system provides for telecommunications, television broadcasting, satellite news gathering, societal applications, weather forecasting, disaster warning in case of uh, tsunami, earthquake, floods etc and searches search and rescue operations when there is loss of all ground based uh, network is lost only the uh, satellite based network will be having so we can use this insight for search and rescue operations also in, in time of disasters so this is insat so next is next level of insat is gsat okay insat is now called gsat geosynchronous satellite so what is geosynchronous satellite the orbital period of the satellite is same as the earth's rotation period okay so the satellite goes around the earth as the same rotation period of the earth satellite returns to the same position in the sky after the each day so if it is in the position a uh, at 12 o'clock today it will go around the earth and come back to the same position at 12 o'clock tomorrow so that is geosynchronous satellite the orbital period is same as earth rotation period so geostationary satellite okay geostationary sat orbit is a circular orbit directly above the earth's equator so this orbit is directly about the Earth's equator 0 degree equator. Okay. Geostationary satellites have the special property of remaining permanently fixed in the same position in the sky. Geostationary means they are stationary. They don't move. They are stationed. Okay. Geostationary satellite. They are fixed in the position in the sky. So geostationary orbit, the circular orbit. They have a circular orbit above the Earth's equator. So in this diagram you can see the geostationary orbit and it is usually fixed at the height of 34,000 to 36,000 kilometers from the earth. Okay, So the orbit distance from the earth is 35 to 36 kilometers, 1000 kilometers, okay? 35 to 36,000 kilometers. That is the distance of the satellite at which the geostationary orbit will be positioned. Okay, this picture will explain you how the satellite position is fixed at a particular place on the earth. So the ground based antennas which receive the signals from the satellite. Okay, these satellites will uh, receive the signals from the ground based uh, ground based locations and it in, the, in it will direct as the direct the satellite uh, to the uh, through the antennas okay antennas will be placed in the uh, ground okay one of the isro's antennas locations will be is in bangalore okay so they do not need to track them but can remain fixed in one direction so the in uh, geosynchronous satellites the antennas have to move along with the satellites okay as the satellites are also moving the antennas which are ground based on the earth also have to change its angulations according to the movement of the satellite but in geostationary satellites the antennas ground based antennas have to be uh, will be stationary and they need not move along with the 
along with the satellite they remain fixed in one direction so geo stationary satellites are communication satellites okay they are communication satellites they help in communication so next is sun synchronous orbits or the low earth orbits so what is the meaning of this okay low earth orbits are approximately at the height of maximum it will be 800 kilometers of the height okay it will not go beyond 800 to 1000 kilometers these orbits allow the satellite to pass over a section of earth at the same time of the day so they are regional satellites if we can say okay they just cover a particular region section of the earth that means asia europe that is from this degree this degree longitude to this degree longitude that is the coverage of the sun synchronous orbits or the low earth orbits okay the altitude will be less than 1000 kilometers so in this image you can see the polar orbit a low earth orbit and a geostationary orbit okay all three differences you can see so the next is remote earth observation satellites okay usually this sun synchronous orbits are placed in earth observation satellites okay remote sensing satellites like cartosat 2 cartosat 2 is a remote sensing satellite resource sat 2 okay resource sat 1 and ocean sat 2 they are all remote sensing satellites placed in the sun synchronous orbit okay in insat 3d and kalpana are placed in the geosynchronous orbits okay they are in geosynchronous and cartosat resosat and oceansat will be in sun synchronous orbits what are the applications we can see applications are agriculture water resources urban planning rural development mineral prospecting environment forestry coverage ocean resources that is melting of the ice caps etc and disaster management the, like cyclone warning tsunami warning all those will be announced through this low earth satellites okay low earth orbit satellites okay next is the navigation satellites okay navigation satellites so what is the importance user requirements of positioning navigation and timing services for airlines for uh, navy okay for ships and cargoes so there are no signboards no maps on the air or on the road or even when you come go to a new place we don't know the route so what we do we open the gps we open the google map so this is navigation satellite which this which will help in the navigation or the directions of positioning and timing services so this is helped through irnss indian remote Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, okay. Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, okay. IRNNS Gagan Geo Augmented uh, Global uh, Geo Augmented Positioning System, okay. That is Gagan to meet the civil aviation requirements. That is to meet meet the airport traffic in the country. That is Gagan is used, okay. IRNSS and Gagan are the examples of navigation satellites. So, NAVIC, what is NAVIC? NAVIC is navigation with Indian constellation. So, there are at present the seven satellite failed, IRNSS 1H failed, and instead of that, IRNSS 1I was launched, okay, in 2018. So, that is NAVIC system, Indian navigation system, okay. So, next is the space science satellites so research areas like astronomy astrophysics planetary and earth sciences atmospheric sciences etc are used in or analyzed in the space science satellite so what are the examples astrosat chandrayaan 1 and 2 chandrayaan 1 will was launched in which year please comment in the box and mars orbiter mission or the Mangalyan and one more which you can add for this is the Gaganyan. Okay, Gaganyan, which was announced by the ISRO chairman on the 15th August 2018. So, the deadline for the launch is the 75th uh, Independence Day of India, that is 2022, is the 
deadline for sending three astronauts into the space that is Gaganyan human space flight program okay so this was a short discussion on the growth and development of the Indian space science technology so if you like the video like share and subscribe thank you